Alright, what's up you guys? Um, this is my first tutorial in Hologram Shield 2 and today we're going to be talking about uh, muzzle flashes. Um, this is the episode for beginners so if you already know how to do one and you want to make a pretty good realistic one uh, I'm going to be making another uh, tutorial on that so bear with me. Alright, so first what you want to do is import your footage. There's different ways you can import. You can drag it in from right here. Yeah, that's my footage. You can drag it into here, or you can just go file import. All right, now I want to make a new composition, so I'm going to drag this down to this little box right here. Let go, and there you go. Here is my footage. So it's really slow right now with a shotgun and I'm gonna want to be uh, I'm gonna color correct the footage and then start adding the uh, muzzle flash so for that I am gonna be using <clears throat> magic bullet looks click looks edit I'm not really gonna talk about color correction right now but uh, this is just a quick correction there you go I already have it like automatically set up so then you press all right then I'm done and wait for it to load and there's a new footage all right it's being an ass to me right now and it's not loading so I put the quality down Alright, much better. Anyways, so some things you can use for the muzzle flashes are uh, action essentials. That's what I use mostly. Um, there's other free stock footage online if you just search the internet for like free stock footage, muzzle flash, something like that. And here, let's, let's get started. Alright, our first shot comes right around here so now what we want to do is file import file we're gonna get the muzzle flash of our choice so we go to your um, uh, muzzle flash that you downloaded one sec let me get this all right so action essentials and let's go to muzzle flashes all right now if you go to here, you can see what the muzzle flash looks like. It's this thing right here uh, on Windows. I have no clue, but uh, yeah. So we just look around for a muzzle flash that looks good. I mm. All uh, I like that one. Oh, that one's good. All right, so we open and we import the muzzle flash. So all you really have to do with action essentials at, at least is drag it to the point where you want it right on the timeline I want it right here and it puts it in and there's no black background around here um, it's already keyed out so that's what I like about action essentials so uh, make it scale it to about that big and bring it to wherever you want the gun the gun shot right there all right so right now it looks uh, decent not the best yeah, let's, but it looks like shit so uh, what you want to do is you go to right here mode go to add and there you go better looking muzzle flash and because the, some muzzle flashes are two frames long, I'm just gonna make it to one frame like that. Bam. And it already comes with a little smoke uh, right there by the cabinets. But um, uh, for you guys that shot a shotgun, it doesn't look like that. I mean, sure, there's a, sometimes a muzzle flash, but um, there's just when I shot a shotgun there was a mug like sparks in the background so I'm just gonna go up to uh, file import 
file. And we're gonna go to um, Sparks. And there's a bunch of different Sparks. Firecrackers, um, Slow Sparks, Sparks. Let me find a good one. You can change the views if you can't really. Like that, there you go. Uh, I, I think I use Spark 1 open let's try that and all you really want is one frame from this so right around here is when it should start I want a good amount of sparks so right there that that looks good so what you want to do is command shift D it cuts it delete that part next frame two frames command shift D and uh, wait, whoa, I have to redo that. Alright, now go to Sparks, Command Shift D, delete that. So now all it is is that. Bam. Alright, now we obviously want to move it to where our uh, gunshot was. Maybe rotate it. There you go. And then our second set of Sparks, there you go. There you go right there that looks pretty decent but uh, we want to say uh, add the same effect the add and that looks pretty good um, now after the shot you want to right around here when the sparks come you want to add a shell casing now action essentials comes with a bunch of shell casings but obviously not shotgun shells so uh, I had to find my own shotgun shells and um, here file and I just added it to the same folder but whatevs go over here back to action essentials or wherever you put the uh, shells that you found go to shells oh wait I j oh that's not good yeah stop <laughs> delete shells delete Alright, let's do that again. Import, file, shells, and uh, your, your uh, whichever gun you're using, or airsoft gun. By the way, that's an airsoft gun I'm using. You have uh, different types of shells. 45 caliber, uh, different millimeters, and I'm going to use the shotgun shell. So, when you play it, it's already spinning. So, I want around here, bring it up to the sparks, and you want to move it, down, scale it, you know, get it to the right size, around there, and animating the bullet shell is really easy. Uh, all you have to do is click, go down here, transform, and posture. So, go here couple frames afterwards you want the shell to go over here and you just drag it uh, after you click the stopwatch obviously and now all it's gonna do is gonna go straight from here to here but where this line is but uh, you don't you don't want that you want it to pop up so there's this little square right here right here and you're gonna move that up there you go it curves and that's about good so now when it shoots it also shoots out that shell now it looks kinda of fake the shell see it's like perfectly normal there's no blur to it and the shotguns all weird so what you want to do is you want to add that blur so you're gonna click that effect blur and sharpen uh, you're gonna go to fast blur and the blurriness right here you just bring it up to uh, I'd say about like 49 50 ish around there or to whatever you want there you go and you do that to all your all your different uh, shots obviously I'm not gonna do it to all of mine because I shoot like three 
So that's what it should look like. Now, when you're done, you go to composition, add your render queue, and you render right here. All right, so anyways, after you're done uh, rendering, you go to your, wh whichever system you use for uh, editing, and I use Final Cut Pro just because you can see what the sound looks like. You see the sound waves, I can just say. Um, so that really helps. Premiere is also very good if you want to use that. Yeah, let me. Oh, and there's my footage. So once you, you know, you once you render, you bring it into here, and just want to. Yeah, that's the original footage, and this is what I got afterwards here. So that's. This is for an upcoming VFX test, but uh, as you can see, you can see the sparks, you can see the muzzle flash, and the bullet shell. And you do that obviously for all your uh, all your different shots. And uh, Action Essentials actually comes with uh, it comes with a bunch of sound effects. Uh, I I get my own sound effects, but. Those are uh, really good sound effects that you can use. Uh, obviously, you put your music in the background. Um, yeah, that, that I, I'm really excited about that. Um, if you have any questions, comment below. Uh, if this video gets at least 50 likes, I'll uh, make my own muzzle flash, uh, muzzle flashes, and I'll just show it to you guys and you guys can download the video and have your own uh, keyed out muzzle flashes so um, thank you guys remember to subscribe to hologram shield uh, for more tutorials uh, so thanks you guys uh, goodbye